you even start answering a question like, why does science matter? It's essential. I mean, it explains why we're here. It's interesting because I'm an artist and I think there's a real sense that maybe these two things are separate. And really the way artists work and the way scientists work are very similar. We both do experiments, we both try things, we both don't know what the answer is going to be. And so we start to work and we make things that have never been made before. For me, you know, I was always fascinated by science, but I didn't really learn it well. And I was really sad to discover how much I loved it later in life and how much I wish I had learned it better when I was younger because I, maybe I would have done something more with it. So some of my work now is about trying to merge science and art together more. I make these large scale pieces that are anamorphic. They're only really visible from one point in space. And there's the science to optics, right? How that works. And frequently when people come and see my art, these large scale installations I create, they say, how does this work? How, how can I not see this in person? What's, what's, what's the camera doing? And I'm saying, it's not what the camera's doing, it's what you're doing. What's actually happening in your brain. The way that we conceive the world is translated in our brain. And so the, the ability to understand that, the science behind that is amazing. And people really don't know it and they don't understand the world that they live in. And so it's great as an artist to be able to introduce them to this concept of how they're seeing things, how their brain is changing things, how their eyes work uh, as part of the artwork I'm making. And then they can be moved from the artistic side of it, but they can be moved from the science of it as well.